This is a guide on reinstalling the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 8 Plus. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. A heat gun, a plastic pick, tweezers, an X-Acto knife, a small tri-wing screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. It is important to turn the phone off before you start. Hold the power button and confirm the shutdown on screen. First step is to remove two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Once the screws are removed, use the heat gun to warm the adhesive around the perimeter of the iPhone. Insert a plastic pick between the glass and aluminum body. Gently move the pick around the perimeter of the device. Once separation is achieved, open the iPhone as a book. Next step is to remove the metal shield that secures the battery connector and two front assembly connectors. The shield is held in place with four Phillips screws. Most screws in the iPhone are different sizes, so you need to keep in mind the position of each screw. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove four screws. Remove the metal shield. Using a plastic pick, disconnect the battery. Using the same plastic pick, open the two front assembly connectors. Now we have to remove the small narrow shield, which secures the front camera connector. Use a tri-wing screwdriver to remove the two screws holding the shield in place. Remove the shield. Using a plastic pick, gently open the connector. Set the main body aside and place the front assembly on the desk. We have to transfer some important components from the old front assembly onto the new one, namely the home button, the big metal shield, and the front camera. Start with the home button. There are four tri-wing screws that hold a small metal shield and the home button in place. Remove the screws and set the shield aside. Using a plastic pick, open the connector. Gently pry off the glued flex cable. Remove the home button. Proceed on removing the upper shield covering the speaker box and the ribbon cable with the front camera and proximity sensors. Remove five Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Remove the shield. Set the speaker box aside. Using an X-Acto knife, unglue the speaker box ribbon cable from the frame. Set it aside. Now we can remove the big metal shield covering the LCD. Using the tri-wing screwdriver, Remove three screws on the right side, two screws on the left, and one screw at the bottom. Unglue the front assembly cables from the rectangular shaped piece of tape and set the shield aside. Discard the old front assembly. Place the new front assembly onto the desk. We have to mount the home button, the big metal shield, and the front camera on this replacement part. Start with a big metal shield. Thread both front assembly cables through the hole and secure them with tape. Replace the Phillips screw at the bottom of the shield. Then take the tri-wing screwdriver and replace two screws on the left side and three more screws on the right side. Take the camera and sensors ribbon cable and carefully guide each component in its slot. Replace the speaker box. Guide the front camera in its slot and cover it with a metal shield. Secure it with five Phillips screws. Next step is to replace the home button. Thread the button cable through the hole making sure that the cable goes under the connector. Close the connector. Cover the home button with a metal shield and secure it with four tri-wing screws. Now we can connect the new front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly at the right angle to the main body, aligning it at the right edge. 
Reconnect the front camera cable. Replace the small narrow shield and secure it with two tri-wing screws. Reconnect the other two connectors to the logic board. Reconnect the battery. Caution! It is very important not to force any connectors. All connectors are very fragile. Replace the metal shield and secure it with the four Phillips screws. At this stage, we can test the screen. Press the power button. If the startup graphic appears on the front assembly, it is installed correctly and we can finish the replacement process. Turn the phone off. Snap the front assembly into the case by going along the perimeter and pressing on the edges. Replace the two pentalobe screws at the bottom. Turn the phone on and we are done.